Hello YouTube, welcome back. Mutton Chop Piper here. So, were you able to acquire all the items that you needed to start your adventure in pipe smoking? Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. Today's lesson is going to be on how to properly pack your pipe. Some things you're going to need for this lesson is your pipe, some tobacco, and a white sheet of paper. What does it mean, properly packing your pipe? What, what that means is packing your pipe with tobacco to where when you light it, the tobacco will continue to burn with minimal relighting throughout the smoke. So how do you get that? perfect pack. The perfect pack I call the Goldilocks pack. Not too tight and not too loose. Now I'm going to spring a little science on you real quick before we continue so you'll better understand what I'm talking about. Fire needs two things to burn. It needs fuel and it needs oxygen. The fuel in your fireplace comes in the form of wood. A gasoline fire, the fuel is a gasoline. In a briar pipe, the fuel is the tobacco. Now, if you pack the tobacco too tightly, I mean, you really jam that tobacco in there and you get it really tight. Oxygen cannot circulate throughout the tobacco in order to combine, combine with the tobacco to burn properly. So you will constantly be relighting and you probably won't be able to keep the tobacco lit for more than a couple of seconds. Conversely, if you pack the tobacco too loose, then the way the tobacco burns is the burnt tobacco passes on the ember or the fire, the ember, onto the unburnt tobacco. So if you have the tobacco packed too loose, there's too much oxygen and that tobacco that's burning cannot pass on its ember to the unburnt tobacco. So your goal is to pack your pipe with tobacco just enough to provide enough pockets for the oxygen to circulate amongst the tobacco, but not too loose to where the burning tobacco will pass on the um, pass on the ember to the unburnt tobacco. <clears throat> so how do you do that? How do you how do you practice? How do you learn how to get that perfect Goldilocks pack? Well my suggestion is go to your cupboard and if you have any of those small marshmallows, the kind that uh, here in the States we use for hot chocolate, if you don't have any, go to the grocery store and the next time you're there and pick up a package. They're not very much money. They're not very expensive. But take that marshmallow and put it on a table. Place your index finger on top of that marshmallow and push the marshmallow down until it collapses. Don't poke it or push it down like that. Just lay your finger on top of that marshmallow and push the marshmallow down to where it collapses. That's the amount of pressure that you need to put on your tobacco as you're packing the tobacco into your bowl. Okay, so now we're going to move on to showing you how, what method we use uh, when we pack a tobacco pipe. The method that's most widely accepted is called the sprinkle method. Uh, it's very reliable and pretty, pretty much works out about 90% of the time. So as you can glean from what I said about sprinkle, we're going to sprinkle the tobacco into the bowl. Well, when you do that, you're going to have some overflow that's going to fall. And that's what the white piece of paper is for, so that it catches the overflow. Now, I use something different. 
I use this item here. Now what this is called, what this is typically used for is it's typically used for chopping vegetables. But I have transformed it into something I can use for my uh, for my uh, bowl packing, uh, packing my bowl with tobacco. So let me show you how it works. I take my pipe, set it here, and I sprinkle the tobacco into the pipe. Now let's just kind of say that this is my overflow. Okay. Say that's my overflow. Kind of spread it out a little bit. It kind of be looked like it kind of looked like that. See how that works? All I do is I lift it and I just peck on the surface of the chopper until the tobacco goes into that little hole. Once it's into that hole, I just take it and I pour it right back into the into the bag, in my tobacco bag. So that's what I use. Uh, I picked I picked that up at our local dollar store. Here in the States we have these stores that sell everything for a dollar. Um, so when I went looking, I saw that and I said, and it instantly hit me exactly what I could use it for. So I picked one up and um, I've, I've, I've loved using it ever since. Okay, let's move on to how to pack your pipe using the sprinkle method. Okay, what you do is you take a pinch of tobacco and you sprinkle it into the bowl until the tobacco is at the top of the bowl. Okay, you see that? Now what I do is I take and I peck the side, I tap the side to settle the tobacco. And then using the same amount of pressure as it took to push down that marshmallow, I push down this first level of tobacco. Okay, again, please don't push too hard. Okay, that's what it looks like. Well, your goal is to have the tobacco come to the top of the of the bowl. So it's not at the top of the bowl, so you have to do it again. Sprinkle the tobacco until, <coughs> until the tobacco is at the top again. Then you push down again with a little bit more pressure this time on that second level. Okay, still not quite to the top. So, you want to sprinkle a little bit more, okay? Now, see how that's at the top? So, you want to take this and you want to press it down a little bit harder than you did the second level, okay? So, your goal is to have the tobacco at the very top of the bowl, but when you push it, the top level kind of springs back. That's that's the that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that little bit of spring back when you push the tobacco down. Okay, so you've got your bowl filled. Here's your excess tobacco. <clears throat> Just take the piece of paper, fold it in half, and pour the tobacco back into your tobacco bag because today's prices of tobacco, you don't want to lose one little morsel. Okay, so you close up your tobacco bag here, and you're ready to light. All right, let's review. It takes two things for fire to burn, oxygen and fuel. In our case, the fuel is the tobacco, you want to make sure that you have what's called a Goldilocks pack. Not too tight, not too loose. If it's too tight, the oxygen can't mingle with the tobacco and it won't stay lit. If it's too loose, the current, the tobacco that is burning, cannot pass on the ember to the unburnt tobacco. So by having it not too tight, you allow oxygen to mingle, not too loose, you allow the ember that's burning the current tobacco to pass the ember onto the unburnt tobacco. When packing the pipe, you want to use the sprinkle method. 
Sprinkle the tobacco till it's to the top and push the tobacco down utilizing that marshmallow method that I told you about. Using the same amount of pressure as it took to collapse the marshmallow. Sprinkle the second time. Press the tobacco down. Third time, press the tobacco down to where the tobacco is at the very top. You have a little bit of spring back. Uh, once you're done, you have, you'll have excess tobacco. You want to take that tobacco, the excess, and put it back into your tobacco bag. All right, well, that's it for this lesson. I hope uh, that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd also appreciate that as well. Uh, the next video will be on how to light and keep your pipe lit. But until then, I want to thank you for tuning in, and I want to wish you and your family happy piping.